Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today we're going to be looking at a keychain multi-tool model from SOG. This is the SOG Snippet. And, you know, I'm kind of torn on this one because it kind of falls along stuff that SOG has been kind of known for. In their bigger multi-tools, their pliers are really, really good. But the rest of their tools are just completely lacking. And this is pretty much the same thing the scissors are really outstanding on this model but the rest of the tools that are included with this particular model are in my opinion subpar uh, i think they could have done a lot better job of implementation on this particular multi-tool but let's take a look at it and show you what it does well and what it does maybe not quite so well one of the good things about this multi-tool is its overall footprint size and weight so this is a very lightweight multi-tool at 1.97 ounces or about 57 grams its overall length is 2 and 11 16 so about 68 millimeters 7 eighths of an inch wide uh, so a little less than an inch or about 22 millimeters and the thickness is only 3 eighths of an inch thick or about nine and a half millimeters now that is excluding the pocket clip that comes with it which is one of the great features about this particular uh, keychain multi-tool is that it does have a pocket clip functionality which I kind of enjoy on this particular model. Well let's get into the tool set of the SOG snippet. The first thing we'll be looking at are the scissors themselves and this is kind of a double-edged sword between good and bad because while the scissors are exceptional scissors they really do cut well and we're gonna bring in a few things to show you just how good these scissors really are. These are not spring-loaded, unlike the competitors in this lineup. So this is going to go up against like the Leatherman Micra, or Salk has another version, their Crosscut. Gerber has a couple different versions of scissor multi-tools. Uh, Leatherman has one or two more as well. But all those, the common theme is that they're spring-loaded, where these are not. Instead, they have these little fold-out pieces that act as your finger grabs, and that allows you to operate the scissors. This is probably where I don't like it as much because while they do take the time and effort to make a little bent over piece here that is designed to make it more comfortable to use, it always seems that my fingers ride up on the sharper edges down here on the kind of a little further up. And if they had maybe tried to implement that so that it was all the way around like that, it would have made it a lot better. That is one area where they could have improved it where I probably would have been okay with this particular design. Now, one good thing about the scissors is this is one of the only ones that I know of, and especially in the keychain model tools where you can actually dismantle it. So this one with a little Torx driver, you can take it apart and that is a great benefit for resharpening. So you can actually dismantle this particular scissor and uh, and sharpen it right back up. So that, that's one of the great features about it. And the scissors themselves are really, really good. Another thing that they incorporate onto this one, which uh, I don't necessarily know that this particular one needs it, these keychain tools, but it incorporates a little pocket clip. Now, I do like pocket clips, uh, but on these little keychain tools, I think I'm okay without them. Once I start getting a little larger, like if you get into like the Leatherman Juice size, then I think you need a pocket clip. Uh, some of the larger SAKs, uh, the 91 millimeters and stuff. I wish some of those, the two and three layers, had pocket clips. But nonetheless, this one incorporates the little pocket clip. Now, the bad thing also about these little, I don't know what you call them exactly, but the, the, the finger grabs, we'll call them, is that they kind of interfere when you're trying to get to the other implements a little bit. So the first one we have is a little knife blade. And... That little knife blade is actually probably one of the better blades that you're going to find on a, on a keychain multi-tool. This one is actually not chisel ground like you're going to find on most of these tools. So the knife blade is actually really good on this, on this little multi-tool. The next two tools, this is where I say it's a little difficult to get to. While they have a little grab here for what is the toothpick, it is really tough to get out of there. Sometimes you really just got to fold out both tools at the same time to get to them. So they have a little plastic uh, toothpick in here. Now, they're trying to, I guess they're trying to compete with SAKs in this respect. They did the same thing in the SOG uh, Crosscut 
I don't like this particular tool in here because there's no real good way to, you can't replace it very easily. And a toothpick is something that while you can sanitize these plastic ones uh, over and over many times, at some point it's going to wear out. At some point you're going to need to replace it. So I like the SAKs because they slip into the scales and they're easily replaceable. Where this one is kind of implemented in the tool. I think they would have been better served had they left this out and put something else that could have been a little bit more useful. Maybe a little Phillips driver. The next tool is a combination tool. It has your little micro uh, flat driver up front and little bottle cap lifter. I don't know why they put bottle cap lifters on every single tool. I just it's beyond understanding for me but it seems like we have to have one on every tool. On the opposite side we have a very good little screwdriver. Uh, this is actually really well done. Now on the saw Crosscut 2.0 they really did not grind their screwdriver in well. This one has nice crisp edges it's really pretty it's really done pretty well so the driver on here is actually very very useful and we close that up <clears throat> next two tools again we have the same problem with that center tool you see how i have to kind of dig in there to get it out because these bars are just kind of in the way well the next tool is one that i'm very glad is on here this is a it's really just a file i wish they would have done something a little different with the with the file but it actually works as a fingernail file because I'm a big proponent of these smaller multi tools and and uh, and knives having some personal care stuff on them and this one definitely does so they have the little fingernail file the only problem with this one is the the fingernail cleaner up here was left really sharp now you can fix that with a little bit of emery cloth dull it down just slightly so it's not really cutting under your fingernail but rather uh, you know gives you a nice smooth surface the last tool that is on here are the tweezers and in my opinion the tweezers are really not great. This is the same thing with the uh, with the SOG Crosscut 2.0 and let me bring in the Micra real quick. The Micra is a big competitor to this particular multi-tool and you notice what the Micra does is they actually leave the two ends so that they are separated. Also in the micro they use a little bit thicker steel and then they grind it back towards the, the center so you get a nice crisp point uh, for tweezer functionality. Where these they're closed on the back and they have a little bit of a break to bend them open. Now the, I will say that the fitment on these is a little better than what it was on the Crosscut 2.0 but they, they're just not very strong. Uh, these little tweezers in and of themselves are not very strong to begin with, but I think that they could have done that a little bit better, implement that, implemented that a little bit differently. Let's, uh, let's do some cutting with those scissors now. Let me show you how good they really are. I brought in a few items here just to kind of show you what the scissors on here are capable of. They're actually really good. So the first one is just some zip tie material and it just flies right through that stuff. The next is going to be just some denim material and you can see just how sharp that stuff those scissors really are. They're just having no issue with that. Now where you start finding out whether scissors are good or not is when you get into this stuff like this 550 paracord and you can see these things cut just like SAK scissors. They really do. Uh, they're one of the best scissors that I found on any of these keychain style multi-tools. They might even be a little bit better than the micros. And now we're into a little bigger rope and you can see it just has zero issue cutting through this stuff. And I'm not putting any tension on this stuff to, to hold it out here, which is what you would normally have to do on some of these scissors of this size. But the SOG cross or excuse me, the SOG snippet scissors are exceptionally good, which is why it is it's almost disappointing that you have such a good pair of scissors in such a poorly implemented uh, you know the rest of the tools are just so poorly implemented by comparison now the knife blade is okay and the in the larger uh, flat driver is okay but the rest of it is just I don't know the fit and fit uh, the fit and finish on this I think it's just not up to par I grade this one out it's hard to grade it bad it really is because the scissors are really that good but I kind of grade this to like a high B 
Uh, now, if the scissors were not as good, this would probably fall to like a, a, a probably C plus or something like that. But because the scissors are so good, uh, I, I rank it a little higher. Now, if they had a little bit better implementation onto a couple of those other tools, such as get rid of that toothpick in favor of something else and make a, a little better set of tweezers, this could easily be into an A minus or a solid A. I think this one is actually better than the Crosscut 2.0 because the scissors, I think, are just better overall. They really are great. Uh, I, you know, this is the closest thing to to Swiss Army knife scissors that I've seen on a multi-tool, and that includes all the Leatherman, except for the Surge. The Surge has really, really good scissors, and I know some people say, oh, I've been told that, oh, the Surge scissors are terrible. They are not. They are awesome. Uh, and these are very, very good as well. Well, this has been a look at the SOG Snippet. I graded it a little high, probably for some people, and I probably graded it a little low for others, but I think it falls right in that range, B+. My name's Ben. You've been watching the Texas Tool Crib. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.